Hey guys, so this is a quick setup. So first of all, uh, right here you're gonna see in and out. So the out part's gonna go to your TV, okay? So HDMI will go to your TV, and then the in, this part, you guys will see that uh, has to go to your Xbox, okay? So whatever Xbox you guys have, there you go. And right here you also have the plug for your computer. So that you're gonna have to plug in right there. And uh, so from what goes right here, goes directly nowhere. And uh, right here, you guys will see that goes to your TV. Okay, so this, remember, to your Xbox, and the out goes to your TV. It's that easy. The next step will be downloading the software for this guy. Hey guys, so for the software part, I'm gonna show you how to do this on Mac. However, for Windows, the same thing. So you just have to go right up here, okay? And you guys are gonna type this in, okay? So Elgato game, and um, hold on, let me just start over. So you guys are gonna type in this, and then you guys are gonna type in gaming slash download. So this is for both Mac and PC. So whichever you're doing, that's what you're supposed to type in your web browser. So you can do that, and there we go. So hopefully you, won't, you guys won't get any pop-ups, but that's what you're supposed to type in. Once you're there, just um, right here, you guys can see exactly where to download stuff. So in our case, we're just going to look for our Mac, okay? And um, hopefully you guys have the newest system in Mac. So for this case, here we go. Uh, these are requirements. And here's Mac, so it's the last thing that you want. And of course, you guys may may not want the beta okay uh, some of you can mess around with beta some of you uh, may just want the regular download for now until the beta is done so we're gonna download the regular version so you guys won't have any problems beta it's obviously beta because there's obviously glitches with it and not everything is working a hundred percent so from there we can just open it up and we're gonna install it okay so we're pretty much done with our web browser and uh, right now we can just go into our game capture and all we have to do is drag this onto our applications and it's that easy so it's really really easy to install this on Mac once you guys are done installing all you guys have to do is open it up so there's various ways of opening it up you guys can probably find it here um, or you guys can just go to your applications okay so whichever way just open it up remember to in your apps and um, if you guys are having any problems with this, just make sure that you allow your computer to install any software, uh, not just software that's from Mac, okay, because not all software is from Mac. So I'm going to give you a quick um, help with that. So if you guys are having any problems with that, just go into System Preferences, and right here in Security and Privacy, make sure to have this. See right here, Allow Apps Downloaded From. Just put it anywhere for now and that you guys maybe have Mac App Store or Mac App Store and uh, identify developers. Um, just click anywhere for now. Later on, you guys can change it up again, but just make sure it's anywhere so you guys can do this, okay? Um, once you guys have it set up, I suggest by then actually plugging in your Elgato or just restart your Mac at this point, okay? Uh, you're pretty much done with the setup. From there, it's pretty much you guys just handling everything and connecting everything up. And that's it for this quick setup. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you. Uh, one quick note. If you guys are not getting any signal, it might be your TV. So make sure to set up your Xbox. So have it on. And then on your Xbox, you guys, I want you guys to go right here into settings. Under settings, just go into system and then console settings. In console settings, choose display. Under display, HD TV settings. And from there, just make sure it's 1080p, okay? Now, if you guys want to record a 1080p, make sure it's 1080p. I know some of you may have it lowered and that's why you guys are having signal problems. Um, other than that, if you guys keep getting signal problems, you guys already restarted your Mac or your laptop. Um, I can only tell you, well, from what I've seen on the YouTube, videos is that somebody just switched out the cable so uh, the in um, the HDMI that goes in they just switched it out with the one that goes out 
And so if you switch those cables out, you might guys might get something, but uh, usually this will fix the problem, and that's about it. Anyways, if you guys have any problems, questions, you can write them down below in the comments area, and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.